Hello. Thank you for watching. I wanted to do a quick video tonight. Um, I've sold a number of products now and I want to make sure that everybody understands how to use the product. So I thought maybe I would just kind of sit down and kind of go through a few things just to make your, your usage of the product a lot easier, the learning curve a lot faster. So, you know, if you ordered one, you basically got your box inside and found the perfect paint edger. You see that it has two pads, comes with one uh, that I pushed down onto another that keeps the bristles um, straight, uh, so, so they'll last longer. Solid wood handle, solid uh, ABS plastic base, aluminum laden um, wool micro brushes, and then we have a stainless steel, um, spring loaded, all stainless steel guard. So this is designed to last. This is not designed to just be used once and die on you. This is designed to last for years. I've left this thing soaking in water for a week. Um, can't damage it. So it's it's really uh, it's really good. So I wanted to um, uh, start just by you know again just demonstrating some of the the features. Um, the most important thing is probably how to dampen the pad. Um, that's going to be the key. The key to the entire thing. So I have a pan that I will be selling shortly. Um, it's uh, It's got kind of a paddle wheel. It'll be a, an orange pan, not blue. This is a, a, a prototype or a you know a sample that they had from another product, similar one that, that they sell somewhere else. Um, but you don't need this kind of a pan. You can also use just a basic shallow Sherwin-Williams, um, one that I got it as well at uh, Home Depot. And it's, you know, real simple stuff. So whether you use your thumb to retract or whether you want to use your finger. When you're ready to dampen the pads, number one, take obviously this one off. Um, what I've what I found in 20 years of painting, um, the, the easiest thing to do to get your paint onto any paint surface, a pad or a roller is to dampen this and then dry it off really quick and shake it as much as you can to get all the water out. That way, when you actually put it in the paint, it will absorb into the bristles a lot faster and it'll make it so you don't have a, a dry spot as you're, you know, having to fight it to, to uh, um, get it loaded up to be able to start painting, the, you know, doing the, doing the job. So, but basically, if you're using just a basic pan like this, you would, you would take your, your brush, pull back on the guard, you'll go into the paint, just dab, dab, dab into it. You'll look at it, you'll have it probably really built up. And you can remove some of it on this upward slope here, which is what that's designed for. So let's say you've got it all loaded up, your, your, your uh, bristles are ready, you, you snap in your guard, now you're ready to paint. Now, uh, this was again made to be ambidextrous, so if you are a right-handed painter, you would use it like this. If, let's say you're doing a ceiling and a wall, and you'd use it like this. If you are a left-handed painter, you'll flip it over and you go like this. In that left-handed position, if you're doing the right side of a door frame um, and, and the left side of a door frame or window or whatever, you can leave it in that position and cut going down the right side. You can also use it underneath going around the bottom of the window. Now, it's not natural to go upwards with, with that last stroke, which some of the products that are out there, if you've seen them, some are unidirectional. You can really only go one way. It's just, it's not natural. I wanted this to feel like like something in your hand that you know was was comfortable. It, it, it had the right angles. It had the right uh, the right feel. So you would just flip it back. Now you can go down the other side over here. You're good to go. So that's basically it. Um, again, at the bottom of this page here, if you have any questions, please feel free to put your name and your email in there, and I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, this is very easy to use. The learning curve um, is extremely fast. Once once you've learned how to dampen the pad, once you've learned how to keep the paint off the face here, um, and how to to guide it along a surface, yeah, when you when you really get going, you'll be like, oh my god, you know why didn't somebody invent this a lot sooner? Um, it is also again very easy to clean. These are all Velcroed on. Um, you can throw. Uh, you know, throw, take one off, throw it in a bucket of water if you want to, throw it in the sink in some water and then clean the bristles out and then put a new one on and you're ready to go with another color within minutes. They clean up better than paint brushes because they are thinner and they're smaller. Um, if you've ever owned paint brushes and you didn't get them fully clean, you know what I mean. They get, they get, after a while, they get stiff down into the, down into the bristles down through here at the base. And this, these are so thin and so easy to clean, they don't. So, um, in the pads as well, they, if, as long as you keep them wet and put them in the water, they will come clean every time. And 
I've been using the same ones for, I don't know, several, several weeks, several months. Um, so on, on different prototypes. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy the, the product. I hope it works well for you. And as I said, don't hesitate to uh, give me a, a shout uh, on the email there and let me know, if, if, you know, even let me know if, what you think about it. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to get back with you and answer them. Thank you.